splices the story of two scientists, two lover scientists that uh, are creating artificial life and they decide they're going to make some kind of hybrid human type artificial life even though they're not supposed to. Uh, they're, the pharmaceutical company that they work for has told them in no uncertain terms don't do this so they do it on the sly. Cloning behind uh, closed doors. Cloning behind closed doors. Clones doors. <laughs> uh, anyway, so they decide to do this. They end up with this creature that gets closer and closer to something approaching human and as you can expect, things get kind of out of their control. We've seen this in Frankenstein and everything since then, but let's watch the clip. Here he comes. Careful. All clear. That's it. Heart rate stable. If we don't use human DNA now, someone else will. Regulators and politicians, they tear us to pieces. We can go to jail for this. Human cloning is illegal. This won't be human. Not entirely. It's coming out. It's not due for months. Slippery. It's... What was that? A mistake. It's empty. I can't believe it got away. <laughs> I thought for sure it would stay in the incubator the whole movie. Um, uh, so uh, uh, that was a, actually a fairly uh, dramatic scene, I thought. Uh, that was very tense. Yeah, I thought that was tense, yeah. Yeah, I dug Splice for a long time. Mm -hmm. Things fall apart in the third act. It's a really weird movie the whole way through, which I really like about it. It's very daring and strange. Um, but things take this really sharp turn in the third act, and I just did not. I'm, I'm not going to give anything away because so much I'm happens. Right it's so ridiculous. You. I'm right there with um, you. But it's incredibly moody and tense, and it's shot beautifully. Like there's some like the scene where they they pull up to the farm at night with the moonlight coming through the trees. It's, it's gorgeous, and the creature effects are seamless. Like they're so beautifully detailed. I can see why Guillermo del Toro is an executive producer on this, because a lot of it reminds me of like right. Pan's Labyrinth and how detailed and just awful and weird and ugly and beautiful at the same time that this, this creature can be. Adrian Brody and Sarah Pauly give it some gravitas. They're actors who can actually act, so I yeah. think a lot of this is more plausible than it might be in the hands of other people. Yeah, I, um, I agree with most of that. I actually don't even think it was... You know, I don't know. Yeah, I guess it was the third act. It was almost like the second half of the third act where I had, uh, where I had the most trouble. But why I thought it was, I also thought it was tense, and uh, and I didn't know whether where we were headed with the creature of whether the creature was going to be, was going to grow into alien, or right. whether the creature was going to grow into ET, yeah. uh, and I really wasn't sure. And. Uh, you know, because there's there are tender moments with the creature, and then there are signs that maybe the creature's got some danger uh, in her. And I I, uh, I I don't know that made a difference to me. I didn't really know where it was headed, and then and then no question. I think we all agree that there are moments there toward the end where where it, where there's a a breakdown in in uh, where it becomes uh, uh, very typical, and then an also total breakdown in, in credibility where well, the characters right. behave in a way exactly. that they would just, exactly. I don't think that's, they would ever. Behave that's exactly yet. it. You know, and without giving too much away, Brody's character specifically gets set up to be, uh, have certain reactions and be against this whole thing from the get-go, and, he, and he's relatively consistent to that. And then what happens with him, it goes completely out the window. So much for me that it was unforgivable. And in that so much moment, for me, yeah, he, he, he leaned over to me and he goes, I bet this is a dream. And the moment you're talking about, he leans yeah. over to me and he's like, this has to be a dream. Right. And it right. wasn't. And it wasn't, right? <laughs> yeah. It wasn't. And it was, you know, I kind of felt bad because I got to see this at the premiere and the audience was oh. laughing. Oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah. Were they the all there? Was, like Adrian yeah, Brady was there? Yeah, the not? audience was laughing. Yeah. Yeah, you know, and then the reactions, was, you know, the, the, the arguments and discussions between Sarah Pauly and Adrian Brody after that, which are supposed to be very dramatic and important, people are laughing. Right? Yeah, because they're 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 minimized because of the stupid thing, right? The 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 uh, the, the, the lack of credibility, the lack of authenticity right. in the in the 
in the thing that happened. They're also, they're like, it's set up almost that there's there going to be these significant ethical debates about uh, cloning and abortion. And I guess there are, except they seem they sort of get well, dropped. They they kind sort of, of, they I get, feel like they kind of abandon that. And yeah, that's a, what I'm saying. They, they set it up and then they then well, those and, go away. And there's, there's this hint of going down this road having to deal with Sarah Polly's mother and an abusive, awful mother that they kind of allude to, and then you never hear about that again. And I felt that that could have gone a little bit more in explaining Sarah Polly's character's behavior because you see moments of that, but I felt like... They're too subtle about it, and which was frustrating because up until the third act, I was really, um, like you, Christy, I was really digging this movie. I thought this was great. It was really tense. It was really trippy and weird, and it kind of made me think of some of Cronenberg's better work. You know, it's, it had that same kind of body biological horror elements to it. it. It made me think of The Fly, actually, a little bit in that look at the awful stuff that can happen biologically and have that real fear and then it just goes nuts. The thing with the mother, I was okay with it just being hinted at. Because I was okay with them not explaining everything. I think it's, it's very clearly suggested when you go back to her childhood home what might have happened there. And it also explains her maternal instinct toward this creature. And again, I'm not going to give it yeah. away, but she treats it not as an experimental subject, but as a child. And there are moments that I actually kind of viewed as a child, too, maybe yeah, because I'm no, a mom now, because the thing gets sick, and she's shushing it right. and holding it and, and trying to estrange no, and he's, it. And, he's and that all made sense to me. I was right. okay with that. Yeah. No, I like that. And he's yeah. trying to treat it like an experiment, and she's trying to treat it like a child, and you wonder whether that's going to change. And no, I, 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 think, I don't think you need to be a young mother to have mm -hmm. seen the humanity in the, in the creature. It made and sense I, to you, too. Totally yeah. made sense I, to me. You yeah. know, my feeling on this is that you know, the movie sets out to be provocative. You know, it, from the character design, I mean, from the, the creature design, you know, very early on looks like, you know, there's some... Looks a little like the uh, uh, Keeper uh, from uh, Star Trek with the sort of extended head at the back. Yeah, a little bit. Like, I, I felt like it's supposed to be provocative in the way it looks and the way they treat it. And, you know, again, kind of going back to the Cronenberg thing. And I felt like if, you know, the, the moment that we all have a problem with was done with a different character it could have saved the movie. But I felt like they were trying to be so provocative mm -hmm. in the relationship that the creature was having with its parents that they, it went off the rails. They just pushed it good, too far. That's a good tip. Mm -hmm. Like, they could have done it. Like, that moment, that, that idea could have existed. It just right. messes could have existed with a different character in the movie. Yeah. And, well, it uh, changed my whole opinion of the movie. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. It, it lost mine. me right there, it, yeah. I, I, was, I was totally yeah, into I it. Yeah, I totally thought it was, I mean, I, I, you're right. I thought I was, no, I, I was I, like, got to be a dream. Got to be a dream. My friend that I was watching the movie. Because right? the, 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 what we're talking about, the, 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 there was, it was possible dream. There's sleeping going on. Right, right? exactly. He's asleep yeah. on the exactly. couch, yeah. yeah. Exactly. So go, go ahead, your friend and, you saw it Well, he left because I threw my hands up. It happens. I go, oh, oh, come on. Uh, it just that was it for me. All right, uh, numbers, Christy. Um, six point eight, I think I gave it. Oh, you liked it. That's good. Because I dug it for a long. I think I gave it six point eight. Yeah, you gave it six. Did I? Good for yeah. me. I mean, it, it looks great, and the effects are awesome. Yeah, it does it's look very nice. atmospheric. Yeah. So for a long, long time, they had me. Uh, you know, it had me, but the the. They lost me so badly, I have to go with Don't See It, which is a 4.9 wow. for me. It's as high as I can get without actually saying see it. So I had to give it a 4.9. It, it, it falls apart and gets so cliched at the end, it really bummed me out because it had such potential. It could have been really cool. But even after that moment, it becomes, you know, it's, oh, chasing around in the woods and the monsters. Yeah, but I like the idea of why the thing was chasing them around. I like that little turn of the... Sort of, I like the mutation turn, and and I dig Sarah Polly, and and she's, I, I like her, I like Adrian Brody, fine, but I like Sarah Polly. I think they, I, I think you're right, they added gravitas to the film, and I, I was into it, and that scene we all acknowledge, that moment blows, but I was already tense, and I was already kind of into it, and I've decided not to be incredibly harsh, just if there's one <laughs> moment that screws up the entire movie, uh, so I'm in between, but it's definitely better than average, and I think people should go see it, and it's like the equivalent of a B minus. I gave it a six point oh. But better than average, and that uh, brings the overall rating on uh, Splice to a respectable uh, 5.9 overall for uh, Splice, and that's a basic recommendation for Splice. Sure. So go see, mm -hmm. uh, go see, uh, uh, get into the Greek first, and then if you're still feeling like another movie, go see Splice.